who is relegated to playing a shrub. Though Rodney's a minor character, he's necessary to the plot. During a rehearsal, another boy trips over the shrub and chips a tooth. This convinces the school to cut armholes for the trees, a privilege that Greg abuses. This role, while small, secured his inclusion in the film, and that meant they had to find someone able to portray the character on the silver screen. Enter Ryan Grantham, a child actor from British Columbia. Ryan's career began at a very young age. He filmed his first role in 2007 when he was just nine. By 2010, the adolescent appeared in over a dozen different productions. With the help of his mother, Barbara Waite, the aspiring actor was tireless in seeking out roles. It was in this search that they came upon a casting call for Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Like so many times before, Ryan auditioned and got the job, appearing in the film as Rodney James. Roderick. The new new Roderick. You know who played the new Roderick? Yeah, I know. Uh, like in Dark Went the Kid, the Long Haul. Do you know the, the Long Haul? I know. What was the, what was, who played the new Roderick? Like who played Roderick in the original movie? Like, you know it was Devin, while the other, the new Roger was played by, um, Charlie Wright. Oh, yes, Charlie. Have you heard about the meme about the new Roderick? Like, yeah, called, know. Not My Roderick. Yeah, I know. I heard it. Games. So which the version was of ultimately Ro insignificant which Roderick to his career? Do you like? the new of Roderick his... or the old Roderick? Like, uh, which Roderick do you like? The old or new? Uh, kind of old one. Scenes became memorable amongst fans. That was because it showed the boy playing Mario Kart on the Nintendo DS. Ryan would become more well known for his performances afterward. In 2011, he starred in a nine minute short called Liz, which centered around two kids running away. It was critically acclaimed with the boy winning a Young Artist Award for Best Performance in a Short Film. The young up-and-comer appeared extremely promising and almost destined for great things. He went on to make appearances in Supernatural and iZombie, but looking at his filmography, it's clear over time he began to lose interest. There's a gap between 2016 where he abruptly stopped acting for three years, and following his appearance on Riverdale in 2019, he seemingly retired for good. While he appeared to have a promising life ahead of him on the screen, little did the world know about the mental turmoil occurring in the young man's brain. We'll learn more about this after a brief word from our sponsor. Let's be honest, people's bedrooms are pretty generic at night. At most, have a boring little light plugged into the wall. But that doesn't have to be the case thanks to galaxy lamps. Enter the Galaxy Projector 2.0. This futuristic device fills your space with mesmerizing spotlights. Boot up the app for a customizable experience and you'll be immersed in an alternate universe of constellations, nebula, and crashing ocean waves. All you, Included matrix reality. you have to do is unbox it, plug it in, and the night sky will be indoors. And there's never been a better time to explore outer space from the comfort of your home than now. This is because Galaxy oh, yeah. Lens has uh, a special I'm still offer for on the you. Frame UQ Wiki. I still update this yet. Halloween. Like added the the Amori characters. In special, if you spend fifty dollars. On the website, you'll get seven dollars and fifty cents off your order if you spend a hundred. And twenty-five dollars, you'll get twenty-five dollars off. And if you spend two hundred dollars, you will get fifty dollars off your purchase. Two hundred dollars. I wish I made that. So to get this deal before it's too late, go to galaxylamps.co/tgfm. The link will be in the description down below. Did I do a little rework on Raiden Tank Force? 
I decided to like change one of the characters' species, like one of the main character species, to a chest from Star Wars, which is the blue guys, which is Animal Frog. Could have gone on to pursue more film roles. As time went on, he began to question if that's what he truly wanted to do. At the age of 21, the young man sought more out of life. He enrolled in Simon Fraser University while staying. home. his mother. It seemed optimistic at first, but as time went on, the man struggled to keep up. And to make matters worse, his mom was then diagnosed with cancer. This led Ryan to fall into a deep depression, as he turned to drugs and alcohol to numb the pain. It was in this state that he began keep- Have you heard about the, the Star Wars Bad Patch? Yeah. Like, what do you know about the Star Wars Bad Patch? Like, Tell me what you know about Star Wars The Bad Batch. Do you know anything about Star Wars The Clone Wars? I know that, uh, I know. The origins of jazz were largely known to be the two of jazz, jazz themselves. Though some scientists thought that they were from the result of Boston. This is a comedy that has been lost in time. To, this is what led to I gotta have to look at the giant, giant written this a lot more than that. Yeah, you know anything about like, what you know about Star Wars The Clone Wars? Have you seen about it? Yeah, I seen the, I seen the jazz appearance. What, I mean, the show, oh, no, it, they did not appear in The Clone Wars. Have you seen the show itself? Keeping his very own diary to, to express his shame and anger at the world. The journal details his depression, academic troubles, and disgust with foreign exchange students. In one entry, he praises Todd Phillips the Joker for portraying the quote-unquote way society hits the other, as well as those with mental illness. Have you ever played, have you ever heard of Batman Arkham City? What you know about, like, about, about like, Star Wars The Clone Wars? Like, what you know about the show? I, uh, I just... Like, you know anything about the clone troopers? Like, Django Fett? appeared in Star Wars Rebels. Anyway, so I seen and saw the, the Joker in 2019 before that that movie is kind of dark. This disillusionment eventually turned homicidal as he fantasized about murder. 
He began using the dark web to obtain otherwise banned videos of ultraviolence, and he later wrote, I have feel-